Yo, what's up, people? I just realized that this video's intro has no context, so, you know, I'm here to provide some because it, it would have a very awkward start without it. So this is a reaction video to Sweet Elise, Why You Should Not Pull Akron Video. This was a great video, so, you know, please go make sure to support her channel, all right? Uh, the link to her video will be in the description. All right, thanks. Here's a video. Of why you should not pull. Were you not originally planning on pulling Akron? Or perhaps you were just going for an E0, but now it's quickly looking like you also want an S1 and maybe an E2? Do you need some reasons to stop yourself from spending all your jades? Here are three convincing reasons. After listening to this, you will definitely feel much stronger, much wiser, and much wealthier. First, change your background. I, uh, you guys... It looks like Sweet Ali is not going to get into the um the private server experience. She just told people not to pull for Akron, bro. It's over, bro. She just got blacklisted as we speak. All right, let's be honest here. But Holyoverse writing the blacklist as we can speak, man. She's gone. You can't say anything bad about Akron at all. ...picture to this one. And remember all the time you spent together. All those... Are you really trying to guilt trip us, man? Oh my god, bro. Are you really trying to guilt trip us right now into into saving for Firefly? Yo, come on, bro. That's dirty, man. That is that is dirty, bro. Dude, sweet Ellie, come on, man. Precious moments you shared. Do you remember what happened back then? Back then, I do. before you knew better, you spent all her money. <laughs> yeah, hey, work overtime, bitch. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, little broke boy. Little broke boy. Well, well, I mean, I knew. You know, I, I knew that um she would be sad if I spent her money, but I still did it anyways, which uh, I guess I'm sorry for. You know? My bad, you guys. Sorry. You didn't save a dime for her. You <laughs> let her down, and she didn't even get to tell you what her favorite snack was. Are you really going to do the same thing again? Do you remember that look of disappointment? This is the real test. Firefly is giving you another chance. Will you save some funds for her this time? Okay, maybe you don't care about Firefly. Okay. How can you not care about Firefly? Do you know what Akron's technique does? Of course you do. You're on the Akron bandwagon. It seems broken, doesn't it? She can turn a turn-based game into an action RPG. You can one-shot monsters and even get their loot. Amazing! Think of all the materials you can farm with her. Oh, what's going on, bro? I thought you were giving me reasons not to pull for Akron. Now she's listing all the good things about her, bro. Uh, well, we'll see, bro. Let's see where she goes with this. All the overworld mobs you annihilate with a single slash of her boot. All right, bro. All, all the right, trick that's, snacks will be That's enough for me to pull, to be honest. Now that you have Akron, you have to farm the overworld, okay. or you'll be missing out on all that value. She might cut the overworld farming time in half, from 1 hour to 30 minutes. But for those of you who never farm the overworld, it'll actually be 30 extra minutes you'll now be tacking on. Wait, why is that genuinely a good point? Genuinely? Wait, why is that genuinely a good point? Am I crazy? Yeah, because if you get Akron, you're going to you're going to use her to farm the overworld. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would almost feel like it is a waste of her character not to do so. And in that, in return, you spend more time in the game. Oh my god, she is cooking! Yo, I thought this was a meme video, but you don't have to. Okay, but are you going are you going to stop the temptation? I know I can't. Because I'll be honest with you, bro, when I was watching the Akron video, um, sorry, when I was watching the, the 2.1 live stream, when Akron started one-shotting the, 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 uh, monsters from the overworld, I would be like, yo, I am going to start abusing this shit. And start, like, uh, maxing out my, my snack pouches, so that I can just giga farm the overworld monsters. Bro, yo, she's so right. She's actually so right. Do you see now? dangers of obtaining such incredible power that's right every day you'll want to log in and slash 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 eat trick snacks slash she's slash, got me bro she's got me she's so right that's the price you'll have to pay for such power after all what is power if you don't abuse it okay maybe you have some self-control what the f of two, two? Zero, 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 two billion damage? Here is the number one biggest reason why Acheron will ruin your account. Okay. Acheron is insane. She does a billion damage. She disregards all weaknesses. She doesn't even need energy regeneration. 
Do you know what happens when you obtain such an overpowered character? The game stops becoming fun. I think that is where she is going, and that is actually... Look, people are saying that this is a, a meme video, but I, I'm genuinely, genuinely respecting these points. These are va these are actually valid points. Like, I'm not even kidding, man. Like, whales, right? Do you think they struggle? Do you think Mess Yuki struggles in the game? Bro, this guy's not... He's not even playing a game. He's playing left-click simulator. He's playing E-button simulator, bro. Like, here, from experience, right? The most fun I've ever had with Honkai Star Rail was when I struggled on stream right when i'm here you know when, when i'm when i'm figuring out what i gotta do when i'm like replaying re exiting the game re-going rejoining the fight for the fifth time and i'm finally getting it after like the 10th time that is like peak star -o, for me at least you know what i'm saying like a mock 12 when i cleared mock 12 that was peak dude because it took me like five tries i had to, I had to like leave mock upgrade my blade I had, to, I had to do a whole blade training session his um his training arc Go back to Mach and beat it with one HP. One singular HP. That was like the highlight of my entire Star Wars career, bro. That was fun as shit. All right. And when you pull for a character that's way too broken, it, 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 start, it starts becoming like an auto game. All right. Let's be honest, okay? Sweet Italy, bro. This is a great video so far, man. One day, you'll wake up and you'll realize you can't take it anymore. You're sick of Acheron. You tried to play Jingyan, your Acheron does more damage. What the fuck? You tried to play Kafka, your Acheron does more damage. You tried to play Jingliu, your Acheron does more damage. You tried to play Sparkle, her best team has Acheron. You want to play Black Swan, Silver Wolf, they both want Acheron. She grabs you by the throat, you fawn for her, you synthesize for her, you give her trick snacks. Sweetily, are you... Are you okay? You you seem to be going a little bit insane right now. She isn't satisfied. You pull good night sleep well. I need debuffs, she tells you. Give me along the passing shore. She grabs Sparkle and forces her to action forward her. You're not enough by yourself. I can deal more damage with more Eidolons. You can't pull for more Eidolons. You don't have enough Stellar Jades. She grabs her credit card but declines. Yes, this is the end. She grabs her sword and she says, Excuse me, are you asking me? There is no hint of sadness in her eyes. Nothing but pure, unfettered nihility. I, I thought this was supposed to be a meme video. Why, why am I getting scared right now? What the fuck? Alright. What a cruel world. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Uh -huh. So... Who's pulling for e 6 s 5 I'm saving this image, bro. I'm making this a Twitter post. Uh, just remind me later, okay? Rack around with me. Jokes aside, jokes aside, I've been seeing a lot of people who were originally planning to skip Acheron, saying that okay. it was getting harder and harder to skip since everyone seems to be hyping her up. While Acheron does look really awesome and cool, it doesn't mean you need to pull for her. It is definitely okay to skip. Damn, we're getting some real life advice right here, okay? Let me put my own two cents on this too, okay? Guys, no matter how bad it gets, don't spend money on gacha games. Okay, I might do it, but I'm going to label it as a uh, business expense because, um, well, I'm delusional. You know, you don't always have to, to, to pull on every single character. The FOMO, I know the FOMO sometimes is pretty bad, but it, it's, you know, tr try not to go into financial debt over a gacha game, okay? All right. Especially if you already have several strong DPS units and don't particularly like her. For instance, I saw some comments from people saying, even though they don't like how she plays, they still feel inclined to pull for her because mm -hmm. of the whirlwind of positive reviews. Does that actually happen? Wait, so you're telling me people kind of get gaslit into pulling for Akron even though they don't like her? Yes? Okay, well, I have another completely new advice for you then. Um, don't be sheep. <laughs> Alright, if you don't like a character, then bro, yeah, you, you don't have to pull for her. If you don't like her playstyle, if you don't like her uh, what, design, anything like that, you don't have to pull for her, bro. You don't have to, like, follow the people just because they, they're, you know, they're hyping her up, bro. Like, bro, this is, you're playing the game. It is a single player game. You do what you want. It's your account. Don't follow the flock, I guess. In terms of her animation... Honestly, there is animation creep every patch. For all we know, Robin and her ultimate might start singing and dancing. 
Bro, okay, I'm sorry for pausing the video so much, but yeah, dude, what she's saying is just facts, man. Dude, guys, I, I never thought that animation creep would be a thing, but it, it, it literally, they've shown that it is. Remember when Black Swan, her animations were shown and everyone was like, yo, this is like peak animation. Nothing is going to beat this. And an Akron comes out and she just completely gaps it. You know, it's just, it was, it was that simple. Like it's one patch, everyone changed their minds. And this is a good thing, you know, it's, it's way better than Power Creep. And maybe music notes will also rain down from the sky while she casts her skill. And perhaps the legendary Boot Hill might even have a technique where he gets on his space horse. All right, I'm sorry, but Boot Hill's not going to have good animations, man. All right. I I'm sorry, bro. Like, uh, two, three Boot Hill fans in the chat right now. I highly doubt that Boot Hill is going to have good animations. And if I'm proven wrong, I will cosplay as welt but booty naked oiled up singing if i can stop one heart from breaking on stream all right i don't think that boot hill is going to have good animations man i want to be proven wrong though bro i want to see actually i i kind of don't because i'm gonna have to do all that weird stuff i just said but yeah all right prove me wrong boot hill and starts dashing around at 2x the speed of a normal character and goes around just whipping all the enemies to death in the overworld before you succumb to the temptations Take a moment and ask yourself if you really are impressed by her gameplay. What is it about her that you really want to pull for? If you really like her character and you love how she plays, definitely go for it. But if you don't, don't get roped in. It might be a tough few weeks feeling a little bit left out while seemingly everyone else is having fun showing off with their newest and coolest character. But before you know it, patch 2.2 will be here along with patch 2.3 drip marketing. Stay strong. There will always be newer and cooler characters. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Again, hey, hey, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, Akron seems pretty top tier right now. I, I look, what would have got Boot Hill later? Yeah, I, I know for a fact that Boot Hill is not going to compete with Akron in terms of c coolness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I think Akron is going to be like the, the coolest character for a very long time. Like, genuinely, bro. But, if you don't like her, don't summon for her, bro. W advice, thank you, Sweet Elite, for the video. Yo, anyways, bro, Um, if you guys watching there on YouTube enjoyed the video, bro, then make sure to leave a subscribe, okay? Subscribe if you want Welt to aggressively pin you against the wall, and you can't move at all, and you're sweating, and then he's sweating, and then he sweats on you, and then he licks your sweat, and then... And uh, come visit my uh, twitch.tv slash box too, where I stream every single day, alright? With no breaks at all. But yeah, thank you guys. Peace. I will see you guys next video.